All right, guys, so so far we've taken a look at the digital right. Uh, next thing we're going to look at is the serial monitor. So the serial monitor is available right here on your Arduino IDE. So in the top right hand corner, if you hover over this magnifying glass and then click it, then this will open up right here. So this is your serial monitor. This is where values from your program can, can be seen and printed out onto the screen. So here you would see um, like strings like hello world or uh, if you wanted to see the status of a push button whether it's a one or a zero you could print that out to here as well uh, say you're using a temperature sensor and you wanted to see the values from your calculations so you wanted to see the the kelvin celsius and fahrenheit values those would be printed out to your serial monitor so it's a way of seeing values that have been calculated or you can trouble use it for troubleshooting as well so you can see that the the, the push button is actually being seen by seeing the one or the zero coming in on the serial monitor. You can also, um, in this portion right here, you can actually put values in there um, and that will actually send it into the Arduino IDE. But we'll cover uh, how to use the serial, mo serial monitor to send values in on a later uh, video. So let's start off with a simple program here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set up two integer values here. So I'm just gonna put integer i now, if I put integer i like this, I believe the default is that it's, it starts at zero. I'm gonna say that it's actually starting at zero, but I believe I, that's, I don't actually have to do that. I think that if I just put the semicolon, I will start at a value of zero. But let's put in a, a delay integer as well. So the one that we've been using so far has been delay time. And let's, about, let's make it a value of uh, 500. Okay, not forgetting our semicolons. Those are, those are the two integers that we're gonna make use of. Then down below in the void setup here, um, this is where we want to turn on the serial monitor. So in order to do that, I'm gonna do capital S, E-R-I-A-L, okay? So you can see that it goes orange. Again, I've shown you this numerous times. If I don't have a capital S, then it isn't orange, so it's obviously not calling one of those, um, you know, base variables um, from the Arduino. So we have serial.begin, and then with this guy, we have to put in the baud rate. So I'm gonna put in the standard baud rate of 9,600, okay, with the semicolon at the end there. That baud rate right there um, is matching with this right here. So we've got the baud rate or the amount, the, the amount of bits per second that are being sent back and forth from the Arduino to the computer. So standard is 9,600 baud, uh, but for some of the temperature sensors, we'll be using 150,200. So, uh, you'll see that the, the only thing you have to keep in mind is just that this baud rate, the 9600, has to match with the baud rate that you have within your code. Now remember that the void setup happens once and only once, so we'll just leave that there and, and then we'll move on to uh, the void loop here. Now you'll notice that I'm putting everything on the same uh, left-hand side here, so I'm going to format this later, but I found a really cool way to, to quickly format everything. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, serial dot print and you'll see how that works i'm not going to tell you how it works we're just going to upload it and we're going to see uh, what values start to come in on the serial monitor now what am i what am i going to print i'm just going to print that value of i that i put up there as an integer okay then i'm going to put a semicolon there then the next line i'm going to do is just i is equal to i plus one so that guy should just increment i by one every scan now remember that these each of these scans happen at a disgusting rate of speed, so we just have to put in a delay, right? So we're gonna put in a delay. Uh, the delay time was there with our integer, so a delay time. Excellent, then our semicolon, and I believe that's everything we need to start off now. So let's upload this to their Arduino. So right now what I've done is I've uploaded just um, like a base program with nothing in it. That's where That's why there's nothing here in the serial monitor. Otherwise, if I had a previous program that was printing to the serial monitor, uh, as soon as I turn it on, you would see values coming in here. Okay, so let's verify, let's make everything, make sure everything's cool, nice. Now let's upload this to the Arduino and let's see what's coming in on the serial monitor here. Beautiful, so here you can see it's incrementing every 500 milliseconds and going up by one there. Okay, that, but then once it gets to 10, then everything gets messed up. Harder and harder to see where numbers start and where they finish. And now at this point, it's all gibberish. We have no idea what's going on. And it's just continuing, continuing on uh, along that one line that's there. So maybe it'd be a better idea to have each number on a subsequent line, maybe. So let's try that. So let's do serial print. 
uh, but we're going to do print line. So print line allows each number in this case to be on another line. So let's upload that and see how things change. Now the first line will stay the same as it uploads, but then we should see it go to zero, one, two, three. Beautiful. Now every number is coming in on the next subsequent line there. Nice. Okay. Uh, but I want to put something like, um, like I is equal to. So above here, I'm going to put uh, serial dot print. Now we don't need to do print line because the next line is doing the print line. Uh, so I want the, the first value to be on the same line as the number there. So I'm going to do um, the brackets. And then if I want to print a string, then I'm going to put the quotations. So I'm going to say I is equal to. Now I have to remember to put in a space, otherwise everything's going to be jammed together. So I'm going to put a space there, then my quotes, and then close the brackets. Don't forget the semicolon at the back end there. And let's upload that and see how that works. Okay, now remember that as I upload it, it's going to start again from zero. There we go. I is equal to zero, one, two. Hey, cool. Excellent. Now, maybe I want to have another space here between the I, because this looks a little bit messed up here, right? So let's upload that and see how things change. There we go. So I is equal to zero, I is equal to one. Beautiful. So you can format it however you wish. Right. The actually the other one actually wasn't uh, too bad. Actually, I actually like the way that that looks a little bit better. Okay. So now you've seen the difference between serial print and serial print line. So serial print keeps printing along the same line. Serial print line prints on every subsequent line. And then if we wanted to do a, str a string rather than um, just an integer value, uh, then we have to use the quotes, and it just it prints out exactly what you have within the quotations there. Excellent. Okay, uh, next thing we're going to do is, um, I'm gonna do the I++ in two seconds, uh, but let me show you uh, this one cool thing that I just learned. So if I hit, what is it, Control and T, so see how everything's jammed over on the left-hand side? And I'm not really clear, like, because I'm just beginning here, I'm not really clear on, like, the formatting of, of uh, the Arduino program and what would be kosher and what's not. Uh, but check this out, if I hit Control, and T, watch what happens to the code here. It formats to the way that's more pleasing to the eye there. So it indents everything there, and it's a lot easier to see. So if I go back to what it was before, right, everything was jammed in here on the left-hand side. If I hit Control T, then it auto-formats everything on my program there. Beautiful. So it moves over the values for my void setup, and then puts the values here in the void loop as well. Okay, the other way to do that, so let me just hit undo, the other way is to go up to tools and click auto format. So you can see auto format is control T, right? So same thing. So if I click the auto format, then all of a sudden, bye bam, all of a sudden everything looks nice and neat all the way through. Sweet. Excellent. Was there anything else that I wanted to uh, cover here? Oh, there was one other thing that I wanted to cover here uh, was that um, instead of putting I equals I plus one, uh, you can also do this. So instead of doing like i is equal to i plus one, you just do i plus plus. So that is basically the same as i is equal to i plus one. Now, some of you are saying, no, it's not exactly the same. And you're right, it's not exactly the same, but we'll see the same values on the, uh, on the serial monitor. So let's upload that and we'll see what comes up. Exactly the same, right? Seems to be incrementing by one all the way through here. There's no difference in the formatting on uh, what we're seeing. Uh, and then what's also cool, if I go um, plus plus i and upload that, it should show the exact same thing. There we go, incrementing by one each time. Now, the one that's used uh, more often, so again, the, the three things that we've shown is i is equal to uh, i plus one. Right, so we showed that. Then we said that the same thing as that equation is just uh, I plus plus, right? So those two are used uh, probably the most there. If you're interested in, uh, in what the difference is between those guys, um, then I will put uh, this link right here. So I'll put the link on the serial print. So remember that Arduino has all kinds of information on their website for you. So I'll provide this link right here. Uh, but then the difference between uh, each of those guys 
uh, looks like from Quora here is that uh, the expression i++ plus plus increments i but returns to the previous value of i. The expression plus plus i increments i and returns the new value of i after the assignment. And the expression i equals i plus one adds one to i, writes it to i, and then returns to the new value of i after the assignment. Okay, so you can make use of either one of those guys uh, within your program. So if we just need to increment a value and just have it go up by one um, or by other values, right? If we go back to, um, to here, right? Um, if I, this one's just gonna increment by one, right? If I wanted to increment by other values, um, then I could say i is equal to like i plus uh, 10, right? Again, this is probably not formatted, right? So I'll hit control T, T, there we go. And then it spaces everything out nicely. Uh, and then when I upload this guy, so let's go back to the serial monitor here. Okay, when I upload this bad boy, then let's see what comes in on the serial monitor. There, it's just incrementing by 10 there. Beautiful, so we have two different things. The main thing here is just the, the serial monitor. We've looked at three different things. Uh, serial print, prints the value all across one line. Serial print line, LN, prints out on each subsequent line. And then if we want to print out a string, then we need to make use of the quotations here and it will print out anything within the quotations. So here I have serial print, I have i is equal to, and you see that that's in the same line as the, uh, as the value here. If I put in uh, print line on that guy, let's just take a look at that. Then it's gonna go like this, right? So every, each one is on uh, the next line there. So that's not very pleasing to the, to the eye. So let's get rid of this. Let's just do increment by one and let's upload it. And now it's back to the nice format that we had before. Okay, then we saw that instead of doing uh, i plus one, we can also just do um, i plus plus. And then it will again increment each of those values by one there. So hopefully you've got a, a good understanding of the, uh, the serial monitor. We're gonna build on this and use this for a number of different uh, projects. But now you know the basic, basics of it. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video. If you liked it, give us a like. And we'll see you on the next Arduino video. Thanks very much. See you soon.